But across the state, lots of you got to uh, got outside to watch the fireworks and enjoy America's Independence Day. It's the first time many people have been able to celebrate since 2019. WJZ's live tonight. Andy Rose Ramos in Howard County, where Columbia's fireworks wrapped up not too long ago. Andy Rose, how'd it go? Max, happy 4th of July from Columbia, from Lake Kitimacundi. Now, just a few moments ago, there were so many people here enjoying the fireworks and the festivities. Now, Max, this was an event that was had, had to be canceled last year due to COVID, but this year was worlds apart. So many folks not just enjoying the fact that it was 4th of July, but enjoying the fact that they could celebrate together. A spectacular fireworks show for the 4th of July at Lake Kitimacundi. This is fantastic. It might have looked the same as other years, but this year felt a little different. I think there's a definite vibe in the air. I think there's a lot of people willing to kind of say, hey, you know what, it's, you know, we're recovering. It's a great place to be. We're feeling freedom after the pandemic. But some things never change. Like the fun at these festivities happening across the state this weekend. Be free, no mask. Annapolis hosting a parade Saturday. Catonsville holding their fireworks show on Saturday. But in Baltimore City, they've canceled their fireworks for the second year in a row. Back in Columbia, a push for vaccination. Today, we're out here um, giving um, free vaccines to all three. Johnson and Johnson, Moderna, and Pfizer. Followed by fireworks at night. County Executive Calvin Ball crediting the vaccines for helping them pull off this year's celebration. We are able to take these steps with the governor because of our successes with vaccinating our residents and are declining positivity rates. Allowing folks to let loose and be free. Everybody has been waiting for this, yeah. and this is just awesome. Happy Fourth of July! <laughs> she was so cute, Max. Now, the fireworks lasted about 20 minutes long, and authorities think that there were just about, they estimate about 5,000 people in attendance. So, a big success here in Howard County. Reporting live, I'm Rose Ramos for WJZ.